Hey, this is Carrie from Mad About Animals, and we're continuing our starting activism series today, with this video being on stickering. Stickering remains something of a controversial subject within the vegan movement, as it's considered a form of vandalism and is technically illegal. Some people still argue that not only does it further encourage resentment towards vegans and reinforce the widely held view that we are somehow threatening or militant because of this, but that it also leads to meat, dairy and egg wastage. However, both Nigel and I would strongly argue that the meat, dairy and egg industries themselves are definitive proof that legality is certainly not a guide to morality. And as far as the so-called food wastage argument goes, in our eyes, it's one less animal product being sold to the consumer. As a result, the farmer's pocket suffers a loss and that surely can only ever be a win for the animals we're fighting for. If, for instance, you sticker a packet of bacon, or pig flesh as it should be called, and the shell stacker notices after you've left, but is unable to remove it and consequently has to throw it in the bin, the said animal's death at least found some meaning in contributing to the decline and ultimate collapse of the animal agriculture industries. As opposed to the original fate it was destined for, which only profited their abusers. We believe that stickering, whilst it does require a certain level of nerve, swiftness and discretion, remains a highly effective form of activism, which often results in losses for farmers and in people truly reconsidering their lifestyle choices. The most common place to use your stickers is in the supermarket. This can either be when you do your weekly or nightly food shop, or it can be at a supermarket a bit further from home. It's entirely up to you and what you feel most comfortable doing. But the possibilities for stickering are literally endless. From street posts and signs, to clothes and in the insides of magazines, to the backs of public toilet doors, anywhere that people are likely to look, you can place a sticker. But placing stickers on meat, dairy and egg products or misleading QR-based stickers on supermarket shelves themselves tends to be the most popular and natural choice. And there's no shortage of stickers available either, which you can purchase from both vegan charities and places like Etsy. As ever, there will be links in the description box below for you to find. But whether it's bold, confronting stickers, or ones that attempt to evoke empathy, or those that trick the consumer with the promise of an offer of their next purchase, only to find it's a link to slaughterhouse footage, or a documentary, they all have a significant part to play. So it's up to you. Is stickering a form of activism for you? Think on it. But when you're thinking, ask yourself. If you're in the animal's position, what lengths would you want someone to go to to try and save not only your life, but the lives of your family and friends too. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful or informative, please be sure to check out our other videos, as well as like, share and subscribe to stay tuned about more ways you can get active for the animals. See you next week.